Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum everyone. So, class for class 9th and P9, I welcome you for your chapter number 2, Biology. Remember that uh, chapter number 1 we have completed with short question answer explanation. First I did, then we did short question answers and then MCQs. For long question answers, remember that after completing all the the chapters, I will tell you how to uh, control. But if you have got the explanation, if you have got complete explanation and you have learned all the short questions and MCQs, then there is no problem to solve long questions. Only you have to learn and memorize. Today we are starting chapter number two. Today we will complete all the explanation work and after that we will come to again, same as we did in chapter one that we will come to short question answers and then we will come to MCQs. So remember that I got many com comments from my students all over the um, all over Pakistan especially I thank all my Indian viewers, uh, teachers, my friends over there and uh, Sri Lanka from Sri Lanka, two teachers and especially uh, one from uh, that um, Indian. Indian teachers, they did very good comments and uh, I am thankful to them that they like my videos and um, uh, I hope that in future also you will guide me, I want your guideline also that how to conduct new theories and all these things. So let's start with the unit number two that is solving a biological problem. First of all, whenever we start a lesson we must know that basically what the topic says. When you read a story, with the title of the story, you know that what story is about. So remember that this chapter number two, unit number two, is about biological problem. Basically what science is, we must recall it. Science says that whenever we do some observations and we do experiments to prove our observation. We do experiment to prove, conduct experiments to prove our own observations. Then it means that we are working on with, with science. This is what science is. So remember that when we say biological problem, to solve a biological problem, we need few steps. And those steps are very important. We call it, when we solve a biological problem, then we call it biological or scientific methods. So using scientific methods, remember, it all started in 1590. These observation of sciences and different experimentation and then biological method, it started, the first step was taken in 1590. It took 500 years, approximate, 1590 it started and then it took 500 years. Galileo was the first scientist who worked on the, with the help of these biological, to solve biological problem, he used biological methods. Remember what the steps we take. When we get a problem, the very first thing is recognition of biological problem. To recognize something. A question arises in the mind of scientists. A question arises in our mind. Why? Why it happens? Why this marker writes? Why the tip of marker is writing? Why not my finger? The tip of my finger can't write. Why this marker is writing? The question arises. Now, when you recognize a biological problem, it relates to human life, like diseases. Nowadays, corona is there. So the question is, from where corona comes, why corona is there? What this disease is? This is what the recognition of a biological problem. Then after that, what we do, we observe. We, the scientists, we, we people start observing. We start observing, oh, okay. Uh, what are the symptoms? What happens? Like in your book, malaria is given there. So we will come to steps. So first, after, uh, when we get up, recognize a problem, then we do observation. That why this thing is happening? Then hypothesis or formulation. Hypothesis or formulation. Then we will write down the points that what, what things we are feeling. Oh, corona, high fever. Some people feel headache, okay, coughing is there and finally many of the corona patients, they are 
feeling sign is problem. Okay, these are the what we are doing basically. We are hypothesis formulation. We are doing some formulation in written form. After that, we do some deductions. What deduction is basically deduction is a step for this formulation. Whatever the formulation, the steps we have written, we will deduct few things. Like okay, majority of the patient they are having high fever. Majority of the pa patient they are feeling feeling sinus problem. Majority of the patients they are getting coughing. Few people, only one or two patients they got headache. Not majority. So we will deduct that thing from that hypothesis. So deduction is done. So why? Because after that the step come experiment. Before experimentation, when we recognize a problem, we have to observe. We have to finalize few points in the form of hypothesis, and from those points we will deduct few points that are not necessary. That we think is not. A good hypothesis, and after completing these steps, then we go for experiment. Then experiment experimentation are done again and again. Then we summarize the result of that experiment. What result we have got? Either it is positive result or negative. If negative, if we will get a negative result, then from the beginning we will again recognize the same problem. We will again do some observation. We will collect some more hypotheses. We will do some more deduction, and again we will go with experiment, unless and until the summarization of results become positive. If the result is positive, then we will report that result through media, through seminars. We uh, the scientists they write articles so that national and on national and international level every. Body should know about this new result, about this new scientific methodology that we have done to resolve our biological problem. And remember, when we do all these things, the results, then law is there. It means that it becomes a theory and law. But remember, whenever results become positive, when it is done, uh, it is. Given to uh, international world through articles, through seminars, through media, then it goes to scientific society where they will again do all these things. Again, they will do again and again. They will test everything, and finally, it will become a theory or a law or a new medicine is approved by all these things. Remember, when we come to experiment experimentation. Then mathematics is the integral part of our biological steps. Without mathematics, because we have to take average, we have to take proportions, we have to take out ratios, and all these things belongs to mathematics. So, while performing or finding out a biological problem through scientific methods, mathematics is the integral part of that. So remember that. Study of malaria. We will take it as an example. Malaria, mala means bad and area means air. It means bad air. The first thing, why malaria was given this name, bad air. In the beginning, scientists thought that malaria arise because of bad air, when there are no cleanliness and all such things. Then bad air was there, so it, the name they given to that disease is malaria. Malaria is therefore we got this name. 1878, a French scientist, Laveran, Laveran found this thing that in the blood, in the blood of a malaria patient, there are some small insects are there. Some small through microscope we find out that in the blood cells there are some moving insects are there, very unicellular small insects. So, but nobody believed that scientist. After two, right after two years, another scientist he found the same thing in malaria parasite, bl blood of malaria uh, patient, and then that those insects, those parasitical insects, these are given name Plasmodium. Female mosquito it brings because when it injects this that those uh, insects that was find those living things that were find in the blood of a malaria par parasites are called. Plasmodium. So, Lavin 
was the first French scientist who described those in 1878. And then step wise, they did problem was recognized, then they did observation, then they formulated some hypothesis, they did some deduction from that. And after that, experiments they have done again and again, again and again. Finally, positive results they got. They reported that results. And then scientific, the department, they made it a theory and a law and the medicine was created for the cause of malaria. This is how all these things end. But again, I repeat that for performing experiment, for finding a biological problem through scientific method, Mathematics is the integral part. I hope that all of you have understood the explanation of this biological problem. So remember, solving a biological problem, the explanation we have done today. And uh, in the next video, you will find out the short question answers, the very important short question answers for the coming board examination. In school also, you will find those questions very helpful because all your teachers will make short questions for you. and. Uh, you will get a big benefit if you will watch these movies, uh, these videos. And after that, MCQs. MCQs to understand lesson thoroughly, MCQs is very important because you use your brain. You will, you have to identify one correct answer from that. So don't miss those video. And for that, I thank all of you once again who likes my video, and uh, I wait for your comments. So please, those who have not subscribed my channel, I request you to, for your own benefit, please su subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. That uh, when you will get the short question answers for Unit 2 and MCQs, immediately you will get the intimation. So love you all and thank you very much for listening. So remember that we have completed today Unit number 2, that is solving a biological problem. Thanks again. Allah Hafiz.